this uh, says here that evidence shows, I believe the evidence comes from a HIMSS survey, is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, that women in healthcare IT, in health IT, earn on average $100,000, while men, a year, while men, 126, maybe 127. What efforts mm. have you led, mm. experienced, or witnessed that narrow or broaden this gap? I mean, what, it is a gap. Here's the thing I'd love to see how this work with him evolves. Mm -hmm. So one of the pushbacks that I hear in the industry is, pushbacks on this issue, comp mm -hmm. issue, mm -hmm. is self-selection, mm -hmm. which is actually factually true. Mm -hmm. It's not untrue that mm -hmm. some women take time off from work for different right. reasons right. and and therefore, you know, lose those earning years mm -hmm. or those experiential right. yep. years. There, um, and, and it's true that women will self-select to not have the higher level job if right. they believe it's going to be mm -hmm. 14 hours a day right. and I, or and or mm -hmm. have to travel all the time. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there, there is a fact base Sure. Yeah. That yeah. says that maybe is, you know, X cents of this, you know, 25 cents we're trying to make up, you know, whatever it is. I don't know what that is, but I'd, I'd like to have some more information about that and be, mm -hmm. be more yep. crisp. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. The other thing I'd like to understand and, and I see, and I, 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 I don't know that I'm concerned, that's probably not the right word, but generational differences. So mm -hmm. I was the Anjali generation. Remember that? I can bring on the oh. second. <laughs> right up in the pan. Right up yeah. in the pan. Right up in the pan. Right up in the pan. That's, the, that's <laughs> my, that's my <laughs> generation. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's my, <laughs> I'm like, if you're not doing all of that, you got a problem, sweetie. You know, so job, sex appeal, marriage, and children. Mm -hmm. Got to do it all at the same time. But the generation now, so the women that are in their 20s now, I see a lot of this, not just women and men, but they're not all that motivated around ambition or upward trajectory. Right. So we've got, a, we've got something going on there, generationally. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some writing about that, there's some stuff there. So motivations are different. And then the other thing that's happening, I think is, which I think is awesome, but this is the more of a economy of the worker versus the economy of the employer, mm -hmm. meaning these mm -hmm. IT skills are highly transportable, mm -hmm. they're virtual, right. and when, you're, when you don't feel like you need to have loyalty to some brand logo, mm -hmm. then you can shop yourself. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, and you mm -hmm. can coffee shop yourself mm -hmm. through your whole career. Right. So I think we've got a couple of different things going on now that are generational yeah, right. in addition to some of the things that if you're not the hiring manager, to take your example, mm -hmm. and you can't get your girls back mm -hmm. like he got his boys back, mm -hmm. then that's systemic mm -hmm. because when you're managing a, a payroll of a few hundred million dollars, you don't have the opportunity to go, you know, well, she deserves a bump because mm -hmm. right. she didn't ask for it. And, and mm -hmm. somebody's going to say, are you nuts? She mm -hmm. didn't ask for it. And you just, you know, so there's, there's, there are certain limitations on the mechanisms and levers we can pull, even right. no matter how high you are. Um, and then I'm just curious about these other things, how to weave this yeah. into this work. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so the, um, uh, this is the first time that we've published gender-based compensation findings mm. from our compensation survey. Mm -hmm. We've, um, we do a compensation survey biannually, and so the next phase uh, that I'm asking our research team is to go back into the historical information and see mm -hmm. what we can learn about gender-based uh, pay parity mm -hmm. over time. The other thing that I'm very interested in is in addition to looking at gender based, it's also looking at age based mm -hmm. uh, gender pair, or excuse me, uh, compensation right. parity and um, race and ethnicity mm -hmm. parity. We mm -hmm. currently don't ask questions of, mm -hmm. about race and ethnicity, but mm -hmm. we're going to add that in for the next, mm -hmm. next iteration. I also think that, that, that simply having the conversation and putting this piece out mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. sunlight is a great disinfectant. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. It begins right. the conversation right. Right. Uh, so that we can begin to yeah. address it and learn from it and make some good forward. You've lifted the rock and now the worms are squirming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs>